Hello again, Bill Rister with Chicago Title. Today in part two of our Evernote series, I wanted to do a flyby or just kind of do a quick overview of the Evernote version that you download to your desktop or laptop. As mentioned in part one, this is where the heavy lifting is done inside Evernote when you're using Evernote as a productivity tool. So let's start with the, uh, the main body of this page. On the left-hand sidebar, this is where we'll see all of our our notebooks, note stacks, and notes. This is the taxonomy that, that uh, Evernote uses as opposed to folders, but we have a stack of notes. In this case, there are three notebooks, one for Chicago title, one for expenses, one for travel, that are stacked within a stack called CTIC. So a note stack contains notebooks, and inside each one of these notebooks would be notes. In this case, there are 50 notes here, 23 notes, and two notes. So I'll click on CTIAZ and it pulls up just those notes that reside inside this notebook, which is part of this note stack. Also in this section, we do have tags and we'll talk about these in a, a different video, but these are different identifiers we can use to associate uh, to a note to help us when we're trying to search and sort and find information. So for now, I wanna deal primarily with the notebooks, the note stacks and the notes. So when we click on a notebook, it dis displays all 50 notes. In this case, there are 50 in this notebook. It displays them all in this column. And then by clicking on the actual note, we see the content of the note over here in the right-hand panel. So we have notebooks leading to notes, which lead to the actual content of an individual note through this layout. Now, there are different layouts you can choose. Some people like list views, and that's what this does. It takes the 50 notes and puts them all up here. Or there's the thumbnail view. Some people like are more, more visual, so you can have a thumbnail of each individual note. And as you click on them, the note will populate into the panel on the right. I use what's called the snippet view, and these little snippets are enough for me to allow me to work with my Evernote, uh, full, my Evernote notes. So some of the other information across the top, we, can, uh, we have a few of these that I've set into my uh, toolbar. Sync allows me to force a sync. So if I wanted to sync it, uh, immediately I could click here and it would sync any notes with all of my mobile devices. The synchronization works by default about every 15 minutes so it'll always keep you up to date. Account information, if I click here it shows you my account, how much time, how much usage I have left uh, when I'm loading information up to uh, Evernote, my account information and my Evernote email address, important when I want to email information into Evernote. Now as far as usage goes, a quick note on the accounts. The free account allows you to load up 60 uh, megabytes a month, which is not a lot of information, especially in the real estate world. But for the premium version, which is $5 a month or $45 a year, you can upload one gig of data per month. So there's no outer limit of how much you can have there. It's how much you can upload per month. And so a gig a month is a lot of information. So that's why the premium version at the $45 a month, $45 a year or $5 a month is more valuable. Um, going across the top, the trunk, if we click here, it will take us to a website where we have actual apps and products that you can add to your Evernote to increase the functionality. So think of it as kind of an app store for Evernote. I can click here quickly to go to all notes. I can create a new note, delete a note, or print a note. So pretty self-explanatory. And then across the top, these windows do uh, what most windows do inside your tools. And a quick note here, if you're on a PC, these will be slightly different than the Mac that I'm on. But we can use the file to create new notes, different sorts of notes. We can edit a note. We can change the view and look of our um, Evernote dashboard. We can also move notes, copy notes, or even create links between notes in different notebooks. And we'll talk about that in a later video. Um, format a note or change the look and feel once again. So pretty basic information as far as the across the top. Um, I think the important thing to really gather from this part two tutorial is to understand the taxonomy of the note stacks to notes, books <laughs> to notes, and then the individual note will display here. So quickly, let's create a new note. I can just click it here, or I can go to File, New Note. If I click New Note, yeah, I get to give it a title. This is my test note. And then I can add content to this note um, in the box below. And once I start adding content, now I see my basic um, you know, uh, editing tools. I can underline, bold, center, left justify, right justify, create, bullet points. And we'll talk more in depth tomorrow about creation of notes, but I wanted just to make sure before I left you today, you had the ability to go in and create a note and start playing with this portion of Evernote. So go ahead and make a note or two. 
Tomorrow we're going to talk about all the different ways you can create notes in part three of the series. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Or you can always email me at billrister at gmail.com, and we will see you in part three on our Evernote tutorial series. Have a good day. Bye-bye.